Hello YouTube, this is Morgan Airspeed Prime here with my next Avatar news update video. So obviously we have one big piece of news to talk about here, but there's also another uh, couple bits as well. But we have to start with this, and that is we have a new release date for Aang, The Last Airbender, the adult gang animated movie, the first Avatar Studios project. Yes, date change has actually happened. And as has been pretty typical with a lot of the information surrounding this, outlets have reported it a little bit weirdly and there's some confusion. Most people initially, I think, and even since have sourced the Variety article, which I don't think is completely accurate. Uh, they, of course, are saying that it's been, yeah, it's correct. Ang the Last Airbender has moved to 2026. Um, they say from October 10th, 2025 to January 20th, 2026. That's really all the information that there is. There's no extra information with regards to why this happened. It's literally just this movie now has this date. But this doesn't seem to be correct because other outlets like The Hollywood Reporter, of course, they mainly uh, highlight this as being Transformers, which just got its trailer yesterday, has uh, changed from uh, September 13th to September 20th. But right at the end, they do note that um, Ang the Last Airbender moves from October 10th to January 30th, 2026. Uh, this is the same as Deadline. They also report January 30th, not 20th. And also Box Office Pro on Twitter are saying the 30th as well. Now, which is actually correct. I believe the 30th is actually the correct one. The reason for that is that, uh, actually bringing this one up here, all of these dates are meant to be Fridays because Transformers 1, also a Paramount movie. Uh, September 13th is a Friday. It moves to a different Friday, September 20th. Uh, Avatar moves from October 10th, a Friday, to January 30th, which is a Friday. That means, of course, January 20th is not a Friday. I think it's a Tuesday. Um, and there's, I think, your main reasoning behind why the 30th is actually what the day is. So that confusion aside, what does this mean? Um, straight away, I think it's fair to say this is completely expected. If you have been following uh, Avatar Studios news and haven't been in some way expecting there to be a release date change, um, I'm not sure if you've been quite paying enough attention just because of everything that's happened over the last couple of months, couple of, like year basically, this has been completely expected. Very surprised that this didn't come out of CinemaCon last week. That was felt like the time to announce the movie as having a new date. But again, because that was more of an industry thing, it's kind of like the weird the way the information has kind of come out, but then it's not the most public information. Anyway, um, we have a new date now. And the fact that it only is like a three and a bit month delay is actually like, okay. It could have been so much worse, which brings up the question of, okay, why is it being delayed? No direct reason given as part of the announcement. Most of the time there never really is. The understanding of this probably has to be, this is a combination of, of course, there was a lot of industry strikes that happened last year. And while they didn't as such directly affect the kind of animation stuff so much, Paramount, of course, does a lot of live action stuff as well as animation. So, you know, those strikes basically led to effectively the layoffs that we heard about last year at Avatar Studios. And we've been kind of waiting to hear about what is the result on the productions of those layoffs. And I'm guessing this delay is at least kind of some of that. There's so much we still don't know officially about Avatar Studios, but at the very least, it seems like it has not hit the movie so hard that it's just absolutely lost track of where it is. Only three months delay, considering how long the strikes kind of went on and what's kind of being talked about in terms of like how big the layoffs at Avatar Studios actually were. Um, I think we've got off pretty uh, lightly here with only three months of a delay. Obviously, as fans, any delay is, is frustrating, of course, because we have waited a long time already. We don't really want to wait that much longer, but it's, it's still in the same rough region of the year. Now, the question comes up of like, is it going to keep this date or will it change? 
as you can probably expect, it even highlights it here. Hey, Transformers has had a date for a while. Uh, it gets its trailer yesterday, and with that, they slightly altered the date. I'm assuming stuff like that will happen as we get much closer to release. They'll move it around a little bit to get it out of the way of other movies that have a similar date. Um, but for the most part, it seems like, you know, here we are, start of 2026. We're going to be somewhere in or around here. If it starts to fall more and more, then we obviously get a little bit more frustrated. But right now, this is the first proper delay that we've had in terms of they presented a date to us, October 10th. This is the first time we have had an actual new date. A lot of the earlier stuff that we knew about Avatar Studios when it was like first announced back in 2021 was saying that like, hey, there'll be Avatar stuff on the platform within two years. That didn't happen, obviously. Then we were like, 2024. They finally announced the date and it was 2025. So there have been sort of expectation changes um, based on information as we've got it. Of course, things have gotten pushed out as they've, I guess, figured out what their plan is because part of it you have to factor in that it's not just that, I guess, the one movie is taking a really long time to make. It is, but... They are working on multiple things at the same time, and the plan is to have releases happen, I guess, somewhat close together. Which brings up, I think, the other point in this, which is, where's any information on the series, the animated series? That's what Avatar is known for. Avatar and Korra are animated series with episodes and seasons. When are we going to hear about the first one of those projects? We know they're working on stuff, but... It's been a long time since we've had a really clear-cut mention of like, oh yeah, we're doing a series as well. The focus is very much, in terms of the big news, been on the movie side of things. Like, there's three movies coming, but like, surely there's no way the first three Avatar Studios projects are three movies. So, we are expecting a series to kind of slot in as probably the second project, and it's just, when are we going to get information on that sort of stuff? Because... The expectation based on rumors was that <clears throat> what we knew was that apparently at some point the plan was movie in October, but also series within 2025 as well. So I'm guessing the series is going to be pushed in a similar way to um, the movie. So if it is January, we're maybe thinking like April, maybe the summer for the, the first series, depending on what their plan is. Um, and that could work out pretty well for them. Some people have brought up the idea of, wait, is January a good month to release the movie in? And this is where, like, I am not this industry person who knows enough about, like, what specific dates mean for movies. My thoughts on it are mainly that, like, look, if they are mainly moving it out of the way to, one, address issues that have happened with regards to strikes and um, layoffs, but also other movies have moved around in or around the old October date. So they want to move Avatar into a space where it's more on its own. Is it better for it to be kind of on its own and have its own space in January? Or is it better for it to release at a quote-unquote good time of the year? At least for me as a moviegoer, I don't really care what month the movie comes out in. Maybe if it's a December release, it's a little bit more exciting in or around Christmas, you know, that's kind of cool. Otherwise, I don't think it matters that much. January, as theoretically one of the, the weaker months to release stuff, is kind of like, well, if they promote it well enough, leading into January, it can be a big event in January. Because it, it's the idea of, like, Avatar fans are going to go see the movie regardless of when exactly it comes out and the difference between sort of October versus January I don't I don't think it matters like that much ultimately and like I said it probably will be slightly adjusted as we get closer to release and other movies finalize what's happening there they finalize what they're doing maybe even within Avatar Studios about like well we want to have this gap of time between our first two projects we have to maybe push the movie one way or the other, something like that. But my takeaway from this is that I think it's a positive that we finally got a new release date. I think it's really good that there's clear, concrete information that the, the movie now has a date. Because 
it highlights that, of course, all the previous reports from CinemaCon highlighting the date were just bringing it up because we learned about it quite a while ago. Highlighting that, yes, we learned about that date like two years ago. It's been two years since we've really properly officially updated it. Of course, I think there was going to be some sort of change with everything that's happened. The fact that it's only three months is is okay. I, I think we're okay. Um, obviously, it pushes everything back a little bit in terms of like when we now expect news to come out. My expectations probably would be, I'm not sure about the Comic Cons this year. Um, I was pretty confident that like if we kept the October date that probably New York Comic Con a year out would be something. Now I'm kind of like, maybe they might still want to announce something about the first series because they haven't. But I think it's it might be a little bit too early. Keeping in mind that like for instance Transformers 1 which is out in September only got its first like trailer and like proper visuals like yesterday. It kind of gives you a sense for how Paramount is doing its movies for its franchises. So I don't think we'll know significant information about the movie like really far ahead of time in terms of visuals and stuff like that. Um, so I think maybe the series is going to be maybe where we do get more of our kind of preview looks at it because they maybe won't be as super protective of it and they're going to have to talk about it eventually. But um, uh, it just it just pushes everything out and it means that like, yes, it probably has to be now. 2025 as the kind of build-up year where you know i'm assuming CinemaCon next year we'll probably get something and um, more substantial than this year and then we're just waiting for the build at that point yes it does mean the remainder of 2024 is probably going to be a bit frustrating in terms of like big stuff but there's other stuff happening of course uh in the fandom obviously so uh, moving into the other pieces of news um, we do have uh, Avatar in Concert announced uh, the next kind of stage of announcements, basically. So this is the world tour that was announced a while ago. Of course, we've, we've had some of the, the showings in the last batch of uh, shows. Um, but now the world tour is beginning to be properly announced. So straight away at the start, I will highlight that it says at the bottom here, more cities to be announced soon. So it's not just this. There will be more. The problem is, of course... As has been pointed out, as you can see in the comments, is it really a world tour when you look through the whole thing and it's like a uh, full column of America dates, full column of America dates, one final America date up here. And then where are we here in regards to like the rest of the world? Uh, okay, uh, England, 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 Scotland, Scotland, Spain, Spain, France, 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 Germany, Belgium, Germany, Germany, um, Czech Republic, uh, I believe, um, uh, Vienna, um, Germany again, Germany, Germany, Denmark, Norway, Sweden, Finland, uh, Netherlands, Netherlands. So it's like it, it's the Euro it's the U.S. and European tour, but even then, it's like. It's not even a super substantial part of Europe. Like there's a lot of countries that they're not going to, that they haven't announced anywhere for. Um, like for instance, in the UK, you'll note that, okay, England, um, Scotland, no Wales. And then of, of course, um, Ireland's not kind of obviously part of the UK. Northern Ireland is, there's no nor Northern Ireland date. But there's also no, in terms of Europe, Republic of Ireland um, date, like that would, be good for me no Dublin date or anything like that so that's a bit frustrating obviously more city to be announced soon but it's a situation where until they actually announce um dates that include like South America you know it's shock I think probably the most shocking thing here is like no Canada like no Mexico anything like that um no dates in like Asia or anything like that of course um, they they have Australia coming up in terms of the the first stage of the tour before the world tour starts um but there are there are whole sections of, of the world that have nothing just yet and so when they say more cities do they mean cities within these kind of uh, you know regions basically or are they actually going to announce like a, another leg of the tour that includes some of these other places? Because I know, for instance, like Brazil has a massive Avatar fandom. I think a lot of people would love a Brazilian, uh, probably a couple of Brazilian dates, honestly. Um, 
and a lot of countries around Brazil. Uh, and then, uh, of course, for Europe, it, it does feel like the sort of thing where like they, they probably should fill out uh, a few more places in Europe. For instance, like um, they're doing Spain, but not Portugal. That's a bit of an interesting one. And, and, and it just goes on. And um, so th- there's frustrating aspects to this. We have to wait and see what they do announce next. But I do feel it's a situation where like they'll put that on it for a while. It can't be an excuse forever. Um, at some point, you maybe just have to accept that like your tour doesn't cover as much uh, ground as you maybe needed to. So uh, I believe as of today, tickets are just on sale normally. Because you can see here, they're talking about pre-sale from the 17th. But I think it is today that it just opens up in terms of normal sale. Uh, full stop. So definitely go to the Avatar and Concert website, as you can see here, uh, and try and find... Um, uh, tickets for your location um, as you can see here lots of dates across America uh, and then select kind of European dates as well and um, final piece of news is Avatar Legend uh, Avatar Legends Realms Collide and um, so they put up an interesting post a little bit more kind of lore about Chanyu and um, massive temple built with slaves from their war stands as a monument to power at the sites of a mysterious tunnel Morong has declared it the new capital of the League of the Shattered Skulls, uh, a confederation of tribes under his command. But wait, who is Morong? He's Chanyu's brother and the mountain leader, or leader of the once tiny uh, Kiat tribe. What are your thoughts on this dark spiritual vortex? Is Morong as dangerous as his powerful brother? Um, play the game. Interesting one. Just a detail at the start. They initially posted this with a different image, but then they took it down. I'm not sure why. I People were criticizing the way Aang looked in it, and he did look a little bit weird in it, but I'm like, did is that the reason it got taken down? Because, of course, the text post gives you the impression that there should be an image of Morong, who was in the previous image, but he wasn't. he's not in this one, of course. So uh, I guess they just took some of that criticism and just changed it to another generic image. But... Um, you know, we find out the name of the tribe, or at least one of them, um, Kiat tribe. I guess this is where Chanyu and Morong are kind of originally from. Uh, somewhere in the mountains. Again, they're building up some lore here, highlighting that, like, okay, Chanyu and his brother together. Um, I guess Chanyu is the overall kind of leader from a kind of charisma point of view. Morong may be more of the actual administration style leader, um, actually organizing stuff, potentially. Bit of an interesting dynamic there, for sure. Uh, and then the final piece of news is just that, um, as they say um, on Instagram and stuff like that, the game is, has soft launched in three countries. Um, so going back here again, as far as we're aware, it's uh, it's out right now, available to download in Indonesia, uh, Vietnam and the Philippines, which I think are most of the regions that they did for the technical test. But now it's the actual soft launch, which... I don't really know. They are not giving enough details to explain what this necessarily means in terms of like, is the game going to be drastically different in the final version, the global version compared to what it is now? Is there really that much extra to be added in from what we saw in the technical test or what's in the game currently? I'm not really sure, but they're saying basically that more countries will be rolling out as the week's go on no more details than that they're not saying like what countries are coming up next there's no obvious schedule other than in a couple of weeks more places will have it and um, it's a bit frustrating i do not feel the communication is good enough um given that the game is effectively in a somewhat of a launch like it's out phase and i don't think they're doing enough to make it clear to people what's really happening uh, I just think there's a bit of a disconnect with the way they're doing a lot of their posts uh, compared to what information people actually want. And that, sure, your people who've played the technical test and are maybe on the Discord know what's going on. But I think a lot of people are clueless about what this game is just based off like the, the bigger social media posts that have gone out there about this. Um, so I hope things can improve when it comes to this game because I, I'm a little worried about it just from the idea of what the communication is like but also that I think a lot of people once they actually see what this game actually is I think it's not going to be for a lot of Avatar fans that's my the impression that I get but uh, we'll see how it eventually goes whenever it actually launches in more regions but um, 
in the comments let me know what your thoughts are on all of this news the uh ang movie delayed uh, into early 2026 january 30th what are your thoughts on this um uh Avatar in concert, what are your thoughts on what's happening here? How confident are you that they'll actually make it into a world tour with more announcements? Um, and Avatar Legends Realms Collide, uh, where are you at on this game at this point? But uh, yes, that has been the video. Thanks for watching and bye.